I don't think people are ready to hear a lot of what I have to say. We're all multi-dimensional beings. To me, that's a very positive thing. We're trained to think about aliens and be afraid. And it's too bad because there's so much knowledge and so much information from all of our past lives here and there. Are we the only ones here? Definitely not. There are beings all over. And most of these beings we don't need to be afraid of. I'm not totally and completely open about the experiences that have happened to me here on Earth, but we are all connected. We are all one. My near-death experience really showed that. Long story short, I slipped on ice. My feet shot up in the air. I remember being in the air and knowing that this was not good. This was not a good situation. Like I don't even remember my full body coming to the ground. It just immediately turned into this place where it was fairly dark. And I had the feeling of, where am I? And then kind of a relaxed feeling of, oh, I'm here. As if I knew where I was. And I noticed how quiet it was. It was so silent. The quietness is so calming and peaceful. I had this feeling of gently floating. Suddenly, energy in my body just went up and out. It was like I expanded in every direction, up and down and back and forward. The feeling that accompanied this was that of pure love. There was nothing to worry about. I recall having the thought I could just stay here forever and never need anything else which most humans think, oh, that sounds awful. But it was just that wonderful. There was nothing else needed. Everything was there. So I could see in the distance a bright, bright white light coming towards me and getting bigger. And I somehow kind of knew that I needed to know whether it was stay here and float forever or go back there. The thought came to mind of, what about your daughters? Yeah, they still need me. And so the decision was not a decision at all. I just thought, yeah, I've got to go back. And with that, I was just right back in my body. Many of us know there's a big awakening. There's big things happening. It's a magnificent opportunity for people to tune into these things easier and easier because we're less of the density we used to be most of us don't realize is what we're capable of. We live in fear and, and if that's all we see, then that's all we get because whatever we believe is what we're gonna get. There's a way of looking at this from the scientific point of view, which is everything has consciousness. Every little cell has a consciousness of its own and it can be affected by other consciousnesses. So if a human looks at a cell under a microscope and sets an intention on it, then the intention is going to be what happens if it's a strong enough attention with a high enough frequency behind it. Now, if you take that to a human being in its totality, it's the same thing. If the energy that we are sets an intention and holds high frequency, the probability of that coming to be is very, very high. And many people allow doubt to come in and we think, oh, probably not. Then that's what we're going to get. And we know all this and we've heard all this, which I believe that that could really be true, that we can be that powerful. But we are, each and every one of us, each and every one of us. And we have the power to make our life miserable or the power to make our life absolutely exquisite. Most of us struggle with that because of the belief, the, because of the faith. It's, it's not even belief, because it, it goes deeper than that. How deep your faith is, is what you're gonna get. Reaching a frequency and a vibration that is free of fear is so powerful. Most of us have spent most of our life being afraid, being afraid of this, that, and the other thing. And I know I'm strong, I know I'm powerful. And I know everyone else is too. When we get quiet inside, it's an opportunity for us to hear the whispers of our soul or the wisdom of the universe. We're always given perfect guidance 
on what to do in any given situation. But most of the time we've got so much going on in our mind that it's very hard to hear the whispers. Does that mean that we will all be safe from everything always? No, mostly because we get in our own way. We also have life lessons, so there's there's a whole lot that can come into it. But if you're ever in a situation where you don't know what to do, you can always ask for help and be quiet and you will hear the whispers. People always want to say, how can there be a God with the bad things that go on in the world? And yes, there are things going on and there are people with intentions that are not, not positive. In this time, what's very important to recognize is that as we progress along this path, we will see more things going on in the world that are viewed as bad. And, and really, it is just people who are striving for power. Because if people are striving for power, their intention is never good. We will see them come to light because it can't be hidden anymore. With all the light that we have on this earth now and all the people who are waking up, these darker individuals cannot hide. They will have a light shone on them. So we, the news will hold some nasty stuff. Just know that it needs to come to the light in order for it to be stopped. Eventually, we will have our paradise on earth. It's been out of balance for a long time. The darker energy has had control, but now it's a very different experience. It's changing and the lighter, more loving experience of being a human is at the forefront. And that's a beautiful thing. See, the powerful forces want us to be negative and feeling fearful and feeling angry, we need to learn to rise above that. And when we see injustices, know that those injustices are seen. Those people will be accountable for their actions. If not here in front of us, they will be somewhere. We just need to understand that. I know you have a book, but I haven't really ever seen you talk about it. Um, do you want to talk about it? Like, do you want me to bring it up or... Yeah, I can mention it for sure. It's a book that's meant for people who are starting out on their spiritual journey. People who are feeling anxious and depressed and, and maybe needing to have a new way of looking at, at their inner self. 